Alrighty folks, how you doing out there? This is uh, Carlo with CF Contracting Services. I am out and about doing my uh, weekly runs and um, down here at the end of Pasadena. I do this one every week. Uh, I got a couple other ones today. Getting out here by the bay. Um, little thing about cutting grass in this area with uh, houses on the water. Um, you do come across some uh, fairly strangely navigated roads and um, turning around is got to be planned so if you uh, have a job like this come down without a trailer first and uh, see where the turnarounds are of course I know where they are as you can see that is a beautiful site uh, of course that yard needs to be cleaned up uh, anyway but um, <clears throat> So uh, I'm out here cutting a weekly yard. I got some other work I got to do out here, and um, the fun part is turning around. Just what I'm getting at: turning around your trailer on the water. There's a couple spots. There's the house. All right, got a spot over here. I could back into that one fairly easily, but it's a little bit of a dip. So there's another spot here. Fortunately, I got lucky, so this is supposed to have been a problem in the past. People have cleared these areas out. This is no parking. Uh, turnaround area only. So that, that's, that's the first time I've ever seen that. But I go up here and just uh, try not to piss these nice folks off. It's like a million dollar home up here, but it's a perfect spot to turn around. So, as you can see, all this area. So, uh, go up. As you can see, now I gotta turn around, so this is the fun part. Back that trailer up. You know, back that thing up. That's what she said. She said, back that thing up. Back that thing up. Do, 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 back that thing up. Been air and air and up. Back that, back, back. Back that thing up. That's what she said. She said, back that thing up. Do, do, do. There you go. Now that was fun. Okay. This is actually pretty tight. Can't see that on camera. This is gonna be a stupid video, but I always wanted to do something about backing up a trailer. It's just a everyday conundrum that we deal with as landscapers. I'm not gonna landscape, I'm sorry, lawn maintenance. There needs to be that new um, category. Lawn maintenance is not lawn landscaping. Here we go. Beautiful day on the bay. As you can see, it's the Baltimore light. Uh, ships out there, you got your crabbers and clamors out there. That's uh, a beautiful day today out there, wow. After having a uh, 100 degree weather almost yesterday in May, it was 95 or 90 whatever the heck it was. It was 90 something, it was 92 hot, that's what it was. 92 hot. Oh, here we go, now we got the FedEx guys, oh great. They are by far some of the worst drivers in the world. Not all of them, but the ones I've seen down here. Actually, that's, I take that back. So anyway, um, there you go. If you know anything about the bay, near the by the Chesapeake Bay, that's the Baltimore Light. Um, so you've got, kind of got an idea where I'm at on the bay. That's where the bay merges with the Patapsco. Yeah, the Patapsco, not the Potomac. Um, and that goes into Baltimore, so. That's where we're doing. As you can see, now I gotta squeeze my truck in a spot here. Okay. Yippers. Guy cutting his grass out there, so anyhow, that's what we do. Drive safe out there, everybody. Pull up a little bit. I don't see that guy, he done pulled that thing around in someone's driveway. I don't blame him what we deal with. Got the AC on and it's 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 too hot outside. I'm getting it done. Like you can see I'm gonna put cones out. The other thing is don't forget to push your mirrors in unless you want to lose them. A little area of people to go around. I'm not going to be happy with me, but I put cones out to block it off, so 
kind of get an idea of what I'm doing here. As you can see, you come down, you need your spot turn around. I couldn't turn my trailer around in that at all. There's no way. So, there we go. Another day on the bay. All right, well, I um, turned around, like I said, and I parked my truck and I put the cones out. This is what I was trying to explain about cones here. Um, you really want to put cones out when you're parking in areas. Uh, one, it's an extra step of caution. Two, it somewhat will cover you in, in incidences. And three, it, it's just one more step of caution. So anyhow, um, <clears throat> put one in the front. That just tells people when they're coming this way that there's something going on. They don't know. It could be a construction site, but it's, you're working, you know. Also keeps them off your vehicle, and it does slow them down sometimes. Sometimes it actually makes them speed up because there's something wrong with their head. But anyhow, so you put another one here in the back. The thing I hate about this trailer is that damn thing hurts. Well, I used to put one on each side, but I have two more up in the front. But I don't have them. I usually stick one about right about there and there, so traffic's coming up. But this road is nobody's on it, but maybe one or two people. So anyhow, there you go. I also did um. To get a lock and put a lock on my trailer, that's something really good to have. So when you're pulling into a store somewhere, you don't have to worry as much. I mean, people still could steal, but not worry as much. But this is an open trailer, so I've actually kind of closed it off in a way. Put that on there. I left this on there from a job I had recently. I like it. I'm just going to leave it on. It actually makes a sunshade. So, there you go. Alrighty, how you doing out there? Just thought I would show you a little trick to the trade that I've done with this uh, Toro 30. You know, this thing's falling apart left and right, and i got to put new parts in here. But um, since I bought another one, I actually uh, two bags. I hang the one up here so I can take that one off. This one's full. You know, it doesn't look all that full, but it is full because it is wet. Take that off, and you know, off you go. Ready for your second one. Now when you get done, you take them both out to the trash. Like Red Green said, if women don't find you handsome, they should at least find you handy. <laughs>